Batman versus the Tick. Hi, I know we haven't spoken in a while, and truth be told, it's, it's all my fault. I've been doing too many of these grown-up things. I've had to go get a new car, and I'm currently in the process of buying a house. I was going to go rent, but you know, apparently buying is the way to go nowadays. Nobody bothered to tell me. So I had two different things in the pipeline I wanted to talk about. You know, because I am brimming to the absolute top with magnificent concepts and ideas and things I have to share with you because you're worthy of, you know, whatever nonsense I can come up with. See, this is a relationship of, well, abuse. You watch a video of mine, you give me the idea that I'm actually worth spending time on and I just won't stop talking in return. But don't worry, I'm gonna go get to things eventually but what I want to say this time is who doesn't love The Tick? The Tick is a comic book creation by a chap called Ben Endland and I never heard of that before I ever got to the internet and <laughs> I am quite the ancient husk it took quite some years before I got to the internet so when in 1994 people were alive back then the Tick the Cartoon series came on TV. It was one of my favourite cartoons I'd ever seen. It just takes the entire superhero concept, just, you know, runs it to the ground. Nothing is taken serious, nothing is sacred. Batman, Captain America, Superman... Nope, even the Punisher gets taken down a peg or two. Of course, these are all like similar names, so they're not quite the heroes you know, but you know, you know. Tick was the first cartoon where I got to come to terms with the fact that only a set amount of episodes will ever be produced. Because when the last episode aired, and, and I think that was the one where Bob Gap Goldthwait voiced an anthropomorphic soft surf ice cream, <laughs> the series started over here in the Netherlands. So I figured, oh, Bugger, that means they're probably, you know, gonna air the new episodes after showing all the old ones again. They're probably not ready yet. So I watched every single episode again. The Tick is just a fantastic cartoon. It may not look as fantastic when it comes to regards to animation to stuff nowadays, but the humor, the writing, the references that adults only get I mean I mean Rain Man is in it Rain Man the Dustin Hoffman thing you know when we got to the anthropomorphic ice cream man again I discovered that cartoon stop at one point yeah it's tragic it's a part of you know every little boy having to grow up so then there was the live action series with Patrick Warburton it was funny but I didn't feel like it captured the same essence of the cartoon. It just, to me, it was like this thing which is like the tick, but not quite like the tick. This is not a slam on Patrick Warburton. The guy is basically built like a stereotypical superhero with massive jawline and being six foot infinity high. <laughs> six foot infinity. Well, I did see that series. I couldn't get as much into it as I like. So then Amazon of all places they announced a new series and now, now I've got Netflix and I've got HBO but I'm still a little bit weary or like unsure about how the new format internet TV is gonna work like Yahoo TV and Amazon they don't exactly instill me with confidence so I heard that the new series was gonna do a gritty take on the tick and that rubbed me the wrong way because if there's one thing the tick is a parody so why would you make a parody gritty that's the exact 
opposite of what you want with the format. Now, you can take something gritty and make that a parody. Fine, that's how we get the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. But like, aside from that Power Rangers thing that came out somewhere 2015, in itself was still a piss take of the entire dark and serious thing, has there ever been a dark and gritty and nasty version of something we used to like? No, there's some people like, oh, G.I. Joe had several, because G.I. Joe started as an 80s cartoon and then it got a very serious adaptation somewhere early 2000s and the movies... Well, I haven't seen the movies, but you know, it's a scene more serious than a cartoon wherein a window cleaner manages to defeat Cobra by inadvertently giving clues to the Joes because the window cleaner speaks very strange and they think he's giving them hints where the jo uh, Cobra bases are. Cartoons are weird. Nevertheless, Amazon made the pilot available to everybody on the internet. Not just people who have Amazon Prime. So I leapt at the chance. And I'll tell you what, New Tick is actually really grounded. Not the character, the series. It's serious, it's got drama. Like, it plays it up. Honestly, like, there's been deaths and deaths affect people. This makes perfect sense. But there's a huge but here. There are still superheroes here. And it's a slightly more adult take. But the superheroes still feel very silly. And that's great, because in the first few minutes of the Amazon pilot, you get a cataclysm and you think like, oh, shit, well, that's different. And it gets immediately undone by two sentences. And that sets the tone for the entire thing. This is a realistic world, so to say. There's people just doing their jobs. Police officers, mailmen, TV presenters, Whoopi Goldberg as Oprah. And then the superhero thing comes in and you're like, did they just say weaponized syphilis on TV? It's great! Tick is being played by some guy called, um, Peter... The Tick 2016. Peter Serenivowicz. I'm still fucking that one up. And he doesn't have the build that Patrick Warburton has. And, fair enough, who does have the build that Patrick Warburton has? Patrick Warburton. But he has the voice. He sounds like he's Townsend Coleman from the cartoons. He sounds like... Fear not evil doers! That's not even a good one. I shouldn't do impressions. Sounds like the cartoon tick. And they do, you know, camera tricks, so they make him appear a bit taller. And he is the tick. Big, boisterous, and neat. And the show just, you know, balances these two things perfectly. It's setting up a superhero world where a little mundane Arthur Everest gets taken under the wing of somebody who's so fucking weird and out there. And I could tell you more, but there's... It's just only a half hour long. I shouldn't even be talking this long about it. It's free, it's half hour, you can see it on the internet. Go fucking watch it. More things I want to talk about. Uh, the Terror is in this, and if everybody remembers the cartoon, The Terror was that old ineffectual villain because he's just gotten that old and I didn't recognize the actor until I started doing the Googles just a minute ago and it's Jackie Earl Healy you know Odin Queen Cannon the guy I was talking about a couple of weeks ago about preacher and he just knocks it out of the park it's like He's supposed to be this menacing villain, and he is it, but he's still so fucking silly and over the top. And it works! He kills people, but it's funny! How can it... <sighs> and the series is like, 
I'm gonna guess like about 50% drama and the tick does a monologue at the end you know how the cartoons always ended like chum <laughs> and then he'd start waxing off poetically about spoonerisms not even spoon like spoonerisms and he does it here and it even fucking lampoons the formula they've created he's like making fun of the fact that more drama than just cartoony physics and believe me the tick here indulges heavily in cartoony physics so it's really thoroughly enjoyable it's as if the cartoon tick was in the real world I've got nothing else to say about this I can only praise this thing go go see it go do click it like click away I don't know where the thing is go to Amazon Prime and watch this pilot and then enter the survey that you'd like to see it because I want to see more of us please give me more give me more anyway my ramble of the week about geek culture that we all consume and me pretending as if my voice my take is unique and you should all listen to me humbler page i don't use i've got a facebook page i don't update i've got a twitter which i just flood with awful dad jokes i'm not even a dad and i fucking love them so much don't follow me on any of those there's a subscribe button down there don't click on that i might actually make more videos like i said earlier and if you want to give this a like, don't do it. You'd only hate yourself. The best thing to remember now is step away from the computer. Or a phone. Do people watch these things on phones? Horribly out of touch. Well, kid, that's all you get. That's it. Read a book. Shutdown initiated.